have big news, breaking news, in fact. I'm reading both off of here and to you. Kawhi Leonard has apparently made his decision after all sorts of movement. We were tracking the planes behind me. It has happened. Kawhi Leonard, it looks like, according to at least two sources and several more reaching out, are now officially saying that Kawhi Leonard will be joining the Los Angeles Clippers. Breaking news, that was two minutes after it came out. Kind of crazy. And to think that's how the big sports weekend started with a Friday night drop that the most famous name in Aztec basketball history is returning to Southern California, which makes the previously scheduled attendance of my next guest even better as the Swish League continues into the heart of the July schedule. A face you usually see at Viejas Arena doing major work for Team Pacific Beach in the prom. That's your team, right? Team yes, Pacific Beach. They're hanging out, and that's what we're welcoming in Aztec Junior Matt Mitchell right here in the KUSI. First off, thank you for being here. Being here. Thank you for having me. Let's get, let's get into we're going to get into your life and time. So I just want to make this historical note. You graduated from Roosevelt High School, right? Yes. But before there, you went to MLK. Yes, I high. did. Yes. Who else went to MLK High? Uh, Kawhi Leonard did, as well as Tony Snell. There you go. So Kawhi Leonard, you guys share two different schools in common. What role did he play in your development, some of the choices that you made? Um, the role he played was just being a motivation um, across Riverside County, um, just all over. Uh, just the way he carried himself and the type of basketball he played just inspired kids growing up uh, to want to wanna play and want to go to college and, and to play in the NBA. And just what he's done uh, over the course of his career is just amazing, and he just inspires people. So when Kawhi talks about wanting to go home, to the Clippers. Do you feel the way that he feels and were you surprised at all by his choice? I couldn't say I was too surprised, but I was I was definitely glad he was back and it, it definitely has a, a big impact on not only the Los Angeles community and San Diego community, but the Riverside and, and Moreno Valley and Palm Springs area as well. When you see him, do you kind of swell with a little bit of Aztec pride yourself? Definitely, definitely. You have to. Uh, that, that's this is this is a this is a school I this school I plan to graduate from and and being being in that and, and living behind Kawhi is is something that you that you you kind of look forward to and it's it's like hey I I, I went there too <laughs> and so it's kind of fun it's kind of fun so let's talk about the Swish League that's what you're working in right now uh, how is that helping you uh, develop your game when you're playing against pros guys that have done this for money or guys that are just trying to find a place they're playing tough they're they're getting down in the paint mm -hmm. with you so how does that help improve your game. Um, it, it helps improve my game because I want to stay competitive and I want my love to get in, love for the game to be strong. And so guys coming in playing overseas, and even Skylar Spencer that just got a that just got a summer league contract with um, the Nuggets, I believe. Um, these guys are playing for money, and this is this is their everyday lives, their career. And so guys, guys like me and college guys and high school guys coming in, this is this is an opportunity um, to get stronger and to grow because these guys are coming in playing as hard as they can and as well as you should be and as long as you have that competitive nature you'll be good so that's your summer fun but let's talk about your job in the winter time and that's being right down the paint for the aztecs mm -hmm. you guys went with 21 and 13 last year very good year yeah. um but you left some stuff on the table i presume that you Definitely. wanted to conquer back so what do you guys have to do to make sure that you're dancing again in 1920 uh man we just got to stay the course as long as we stay the course and, and we come in with open minds and willing willing to adapt to every situation and and be be chemistry have our chemistry be great um that's 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 the way to go um uh, the guys we have coming in now the new guys um they're they're willing it's just willing uh they, they they're they're every day to learn and then get better give me one name of person that we're going to be wowed about when we get to 2020 that people don't know right now malachi flynn uh that's that's the that's the guy that's 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 my guy uh <laughs> I, my nickname for him is killer and that's what i expect expect him to be that's what the san diego community and san diego state community should expect him to be and that should be a name that's heard all across the country. Well, we're expecting a killer season from you and your squad. Thank you so very much for coming in. Great to have you Thank here. You. Thank you. for coming into the studios. We love it. Make sure you're here at 5, by the way. We're talking about the big weekend in sports. Amazing times. You're going to love it all. U.S. women. Kawhi again we'll chat about. And don't forget about the Padres playing 500 baseball. Amazing stuff.